After five title defenses and circumstances out of Wilder's control, he faced the only man he hadn't knocked out, marking the start of the second and more challenging phase of his career. Wilder was rematched with Berman Stiverne. Nearly 11,000 in attendance here at Barclays Center in Brooklyn for this heavyweight title fight, a rematch between Deontay Wilder and Berman Stiverne. To make a definitive statement, there was only one thing Wilder could do, and he did just that. Stiff jab by Wilder now. Thus far, Stavern hasn't shown the work rate. He's in it, and Stavern goes down in round one with that laser right hand from Wilder. 18 of Wilder's 30. Seven knockouts have occurred here in the first round, and Stavern down for the second time. Wilder's right hand is Thor's hammer, and here in round one, he is Ragnar rocking Stavern! Statement. That is a statement. This is as loud as I've heard the Barclays Center at a boxing match we've done. Mama mia! What a performance by WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder. Vada doing their best to clean up the sport. Wilder did his best tonight, cleaning the clock of Berman Stavern. The overwhelming power that he took out Stavern with served as a reminder of why we're forever attracted to big punching big men. At the start of his 2018 campaign, Wilder took a chance. With a unification showdown looming versus fellow unbeaten Anthony Joshua, Wilder accepted a defense against Luis Ortiz, arguably the most avoided fighter in the division. The fight drew 14,000 fans to Barclays Center in Brooklyn, and it turned out to be Wilder's defining fight to date. The bell in round one. Wilder's first problem was almost immediately evident. Because he was not just a southpaw, but a smart southpaw, Ortiz virtually took away Wilder's jab. Right now, Deontay hasn't given Ortiz anything to create doubts from coming forward and pressuring and, and winning this real estate battle, so to speak. And Wilder has to, has to do something or show Ortiz something to where he starts to question himself coming forward. The fight was close and uneventful when in the fifth, Wilder broke through with power shots. 15 seconds left in the fifth, and there's the right hand! Ortiz is down for the second time in his career. Because he had struck at the very end of the round, there was no time for a follow-up attack. All it takes is one shot for Deontay Wilder to get back into this fight. In the seventh, Wilder definitively proved something important to his critics. His fight-ending power is accompanied by heart and resiliency. Ortiz hammered in for much of the round, but Wilder did not cave in. Wilder unloads the right hand, partially blocked by Ortiz. Oh. There's another right hand Boy, that caught Ortiz. The right hook hook and landed. the right hook by Ortiz has Wilder in trouble. Wilder needs to hold on. Intelligent by Wilder to smother. Let's see if Ortiz gets to him now. Oh, oh straight left hand. Wilder's Wilder hurt, guys. gets clipped. Wilder's hurt. Ortiz unloading on Deontay Wilder in the seventh. And Wilder trying desperately to hold on. Ortiz emptying the fuselage here in the seventh round. Deontay Wilder in trouble. Will he survive the round? He does. Wow. Joshua came back from his moment. This is your moment to come back, right? This is your moment to dig deep. This is your moment to dig deep. In the tenth, with Wilder ahead by only a single point on all three cards. And there's a the counter right hand. Both landed at the same time, and the exchange as Ortiz tries to hold on. That's the counter right hand that Deontay needed. See, he held his ground and shot it right out. Wilder again, batting Luis Ortiz. Right cross, clubbing left hand by Wilder. Down goes Ortiz for the second time in the fight. Bombs away from the bronze bomber. 
the champion again proved that once he has his man hurt, he has him finished. Right uppercut, and it's over! Mamma mia, Deontay Wilder has done it! All started when he held his ground on that counter right hand. That's what he needed to do all night. Don't call it a comeback. Call it the seventh successful title defense for Deontay Wilder. He showed that he has the grit, the fortitude, and the character. And he gets the job done. Do you now consider this the signature win that many felt that you needed? I am the most dangerous man in the world. I am the most baddest man on the planet. And I proved that tonight. This solidified my position at the top of the food chain. And uh, soon there will be one champion, one face, one name. And he go by the name of Deontay Wilder. Wilder has now made seven successful defenses, which is more than 87% of the almost 100 heavyweight titleists who have preceded him. It would seem the next step would be the obvious one, a unification showdown with Anthony Joshua, who holds the world titles that are not owned by Wilder. Joshua Wilder would undoubtedly be the most anticipated fight that can be made at any weight. After all, the titleists are a combined 62 and 0 with 60 KOs. An explanation of why that fight isn't happening sounds like the liberal arts course load for a college undergrad. A little bit of politics, some economics, and a touch of geography. Wilder wants to fight. Joshua wants to wait until at least April 2019. As it turned out, the delay has created room and space for a fantastic and unexpected matchup. I'm gonna spot you out, you hear me? You dozer. <laughs> Wilder defending against Joshua's countryman, the lineal heavyweight titleist, Tyson Fury. Fury is 27 and 0. In 2015, he scored one of the biggest upsets in heavyweight history, outpointing longtime titleist Vlad Klitschko. But Fury was sidelined by drug issues and bouts of depression, and he never made a single defense. Now, after two comeback fights, Fury's back, as bold and outrageous as ever. And he poses a unique problem for Wilder. At six foot nine, and with mobility that belies his size, Fury can be a nightmare to fight. On December 1 at Staples Center in Los Angeles, Wilder and Fury will stop talking and start punching. It's yet another opportunity for Wilder to build a legacy. What he wants to do hasn't changed with time. He wants to prove he's the best heavyweight in the world.